Welcome to the Pompous Porch, where everything is wrong and nothing is right. Today with us, we have Let's Breathe Fire. Hi. Grin. Eh. Capo. Hello. And Meister. Jump off 48 bridges, please. I don't exist, but I am Riddell. So, uh. today we're going to be talking about Overwatch, and it's patch that will be coming out next week with the new character Arissa, the buffs to Winston, and uh, Junkrat, and Sombra. And the nerfs to Anna. So, let us begin. We'll first start talking about Orissa because she's obviously the most notable thing in the patch. I'm just I, glad I, that we have another <clears throat> anchor tank, honestly. Um, I wouldn't really even call her an anchor tank. She's actually not very good right now. I would really like to see if, like, her shield stopped uh, Reinhardt ult. Because I heard they didn't. Yeah, it currently it doesn't. It doesn't, like, I mean, what you can do with her thing is that you can... Lift somebody off the ground, the Reinhardt can hammer them down. Right, yeah, we, I know, about. I know about that. But what I'm saying with the um, the, with the, barrier. the barrier when you put it on the ground, it doesn't. Apparently, block Reinhardt all ignores it, and it just oh. if you are behind it, it'll still knock you down. Hmm. Yeah, all no. the same. Yeah, okay. because uh, the barrier doesn't like Extend clip into the ground. It doesn't clip into the ground like a Reinhardt shield does, which goes slightly below him. It got fixed already, but. That was apparently a thing it couldn't do. If they keep it that way, she will not be used. Because Reinhardt will just be picked and just knock also, everybody down. Also another thing Although she might be used with Reinhardt. It'll be fixed when it goes yeah. live. Um, also, another thing to note is that her Fortify cannot block ult, uh, Reinhardt ult if someone's behind it. So yeah. if she stands in front of a teammate and she fortifies, she'll she won't get knocked down, but her teammate behind her still. Will so uh, unlike a uh, Zarya shield. Honestly, I think it should protect people, but I don't know if that's like hard to like implement because it's technically not. Well, um, it's this. Well, the thing is that it's the same thing as a Zarya barrier, and they already have I mean, that programmed. I guess, so. yeah. I mean, to be honest, if if that was to be implemented, it or will be a must pick for a counters to Reinhardt's ult. Well, uh, I, not really. Well, not I mean, when you pick, because you want to know who the, you want to know the must pick is for counting Reinhardt ult. Reinhardt. 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 <laughs> because it's the only thing that stops it. Not yeah. even like, not even like drastic inclines stop it. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, you could be on the second level of story of a building. And it... I think Arissa has the potential to be good, but she has a few main issues holding her back. Uh, one is she's too squishy for a tank, and two, she's too slow, like wicked slow and squishy at the same time. So she she has a lot of protecting abilities and abilities to like protect herself and her team, but she doesn't have enough. Like outside of abilities, like like um characters like Roadhog and Reinhardt, they still have massive health pools with uh big damage, and they can move around and they have uh mobility skills. But Roadhog has like a hook instead to bring people in. Arissa's has got nothing. She just has fortify, and when she's out of fortify, uh, she's a sitting duck. Flankers will just bamboozle her. Yeah. Well, I feel like they did that to her, made her like slower and more squishy because she's kind of like a tank slash support because she supports people. With her ult and the fact that she uh, she can pull people out of position, kind of like Lucio's boop. So I think that's kind of like a double-edged sword for her, where she's tank and a little bit of support. Not so much support, but a little bit of support. But she's also a, like Zarya. She has Zarya's health pool. And with armor. Yeah, I think yeah. I think she should have be, be beefed up to the normal tank health, which is 500, is like about the average. Because yeah, the difference health. between Zarya and Orisa... Uh, is the fact that Zarya has shield, so it's mm -hmm. regenerative, yeah, it's and and Zarya is smaller. She uh, yeah. like Orisa is a lot bigger than Zarya for oh, hitbox yeah. size. Yeah. So it's it's not even like the same thing when it comes to that. Like so um, just... Orisa gets hard countered by Genji, Tracer, uh, Farah. I would say, like, because those because um, she can't really do anything much about flying Farah because she doesn't have right. that sustained. Right. Uh, reliable damage against yeah, her. And, and her shots are projectile, too. Yeah. Yeah, okay. she... I think she has a fine amount of damage for a tank. Like, everyone's kept saying she does too much damage. Yeah. Which is complete bogus. She doesn't yeah. do too much damage. Okay. So, now that we got, like, our basic um, uh, ideas across about Orisa, let's go into more detail about, like, her... What, what do you think about, like, the fusion driver of oh, Orisa? the ultimate? No, yeah, no, no, no. Her primary, primary fire weapon. Oh, her, her primary fire? Or just uh, fire. It's, fine. it's perfectly fine, in my opinion. Yeah. With the five, 150 uh, and everything. Yeah, I think is fine. Yeah, it was nerfed to 200, but I guess they didn't want you just spamming down a choke all day. But that thing can actually, 
it's not very good at like team fights. It's much do better at like just dis- just like destroying barriers. That's do where you think is. that she'll need like because Diva moves faster when shooting and doesn't have to reload. And does have to reload. I just find that a little weird. Uh, the, well, I think it's her primary fire. But she has it's long range. Even slower. Well, is, she has long range. While Diva doesn't have long range. And there's yeah. a lot of shots in her gun. Large. Yeah. And well, I mean, Diva has the most shots in her gun. Well, reloading isn't really an yeah. issue because, for the most part, she'll be able to sustain fire long enough where she doesn't need to reload. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the damage on it. It's fine. Yeah, it's, I it's fine. Like, that's Decent. too much damage. It's... I went into training rage and headshot all bots point blank range. Too much damage. Also, they were stationary training bots. Yeah. Um, that's another thing. Training bots' heads are huge. They're terrible for practicing. Yeah. They're a little. Yeah, they're so. unreliable. Um, but that's a different story. Her. Um, um, I think I feel like the fusion dryer was going to be good against other barriers. I feel like because oh, yeah, constant constantly. damage on it. Yeah. I can't. It does a lot of damage. It does a decent amount of um, damage to the barriers as it is. Uh, if you put another like a seventy-six from the rest of the team on it, that barriers are going to drop really fast. I think. Yeah. Here's the problem with PCRs. You can't really test actual in-game scenarios unless you're scrimming. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just all like numbers, basically. You got to just take numbers and get very metaphorical with what you're. Gonna and do. people don't care. So yeah. it's going to be something we're going to have to look for. Yeah. Moving on to the ability Halt. No, no, I think we should talk about her secondary fire first, because that's like... That's yeah, Halt. Halt is the secondary yeah. fire. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm stupid. I'm like, I'm I was just get out. about... Get out. I'm going to play this character for the team, too. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> so anyway, the second ability, or the alternate fire, Arissa is Halt, which is like a little mini Graviton, for people who don't know. All right, we're just going to say that, right? This thing... This thing's pretty awesome, it pretty is. amazing. Yeah. It's really hard to, to find a use for it right now because, once again, it's, like, impossible to, like, get practical scenarios. But the thing's going to be really good. It's With proper team coordination, this thing could be a really deadly basic ability. Yeah. For, really example, pulling, for example, pulling an entire team in the air and then hammer. It also yeah, slows them down for, like, well, like, two seconds. Uh, It doesn't stun you, but it does, I it guess. It slows put- you. Yeah, because it yeah it has that little slow because it pulls you in first. Yeah, if um that's another thing that's not noted, but when you're in the range of the thing, it slows your movement. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I like about it. You you're never gonna really notice it that much because it moves past you um t- too fast to make it noticeable, but it's just a thing you can, it does. Um, unless unless that is co- like comboed with somebody who's trying to escape, like a. Yeah. Like a support, like an honor who's trying to escape, and they're going down a hallway. That the only way they can go is the direction that the orb is moving. All right. Yeah. I mean that that you probably know. The thing about halt that's actually uh really good is that it's actually really good for those like you know Eichenwald, Hanamura, where they have those those really polarizing first points, which are hard to like uh, play up offense on. Mm-hmm. She actually has, I think, gonna have one of the best times getting through that. Like just like um you know with May. I wish you can just wall off and completely like t- make it a five v six. Or like, alternatively, the thing is, she can she can actually pull May out of position with halt one, or she could. Uh, if the May is smart though, she won't be that close. I know she won't, but I'm just saying, if you have that, like at, for most part, I think. Um, Another thing to, to, about the, um, the, halt? the halt ability is it can be used on defense to pull. A Reinhardt who's being, or a, a Roadhog who's being cautious about the wall, but gets pulled in, then the May blocks him off. So he doesn't even have to go through. It can be used to, like, just somebody who's just barely trying to maybe bait the wall. Yeah. And just pull him in. Another example of a map I was thinking of is attack on Numbani. If you if you get good positioning right, you can just... Oh, you can pull them off. Yeah, pull, pull them off of high ground. Even if it's just one or two, you can still move yeah. in on high ground and just win the team fight. Because they're too... Well, yeah, yeah, you pick off the ones that fell. We were yeah. on the, the, actually the topic of Halt and, like, uh, all that kind of stuff. Everyone was saying that Arissa would excel really well at defense. Well, I actually think offense might be her best bet on a lot of cases. Because she's slow. She's very slow. So, for the most part, on defense, you don't really want to be that... I guess defense you can be stagnant. But on defense, having, I guess, the... Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. I guess it, the mobility doesn't really matter on either. 
but I'm saying like just her abilities seem to complement um some offensive or uh, position offensive positions more. Like Call is much better, I think, on offense than defense. I feel like her barrier is good on defense, but on like control maps, I can feel like it could be really good, like just for attacking a point because it can completely right. negate right. top one area. And it's a deployable barrier. Why wouldn't you want that on like I think offense? She's, just base. she's one of those characters that that's not really uh, like position, like um, attack or defense oriented. She just can kind of do whatever. It just depends on how you want to use her. She's very versatile that way. But um, back to Halt yeah. again. Um, being able to combo ults without having to charge an ult is pretty big. Yeah. I think the communication required is going to be very precise. But I think... Um, I mean, it could be just enough to get a... Our level queuing in, I think you can make some use from it. Yeah, um, I think it would be just enough. Sometimes if the team is... By far, the easiest, the easiest combo is pull a Reinhardt up and then hammer down. That's really simple, really easy, plenty yeah. of time to do. Uh, Tracer is really going to be, like, an advanced one that you can do. Yeah, that's going to uh, I was going to say, you could just have the far all. Just far because... all, I, I guess, but that one doesn't seem as necessary at that point. But I can see it being easy. It can hold them down just long enough. It doesn't take long to kill people um, far all. could combo a little Diva Bomb, but that one seems really, really situational. Yeah. And it has a lot of... Com has a lot of combo uh positional use it's it's very good ability and one that i think all aristas are going to need to master and understand the most to make really good use of her but yeah that's that's halt so uh how about we talk about her barrier next her fortify no her barrier let's talk about the barrier well, first. her barrier is a good middle like ground her. between reinhardt and symmetra reinhardt has a barrier that he pulls out which so has can... a barrier that she deploys and moves forward. Hers is kind of like the mid-ground of Reinhardt and Asymmetra. The fact that you can deploy it, but it doesn't move forward, and it stays in one area like Reinhardt. And that's yeah. going to be really good, especially for, like, offense, where you can just throw it down and have a certain area defended, and then move to another area and throw it down and have that area defended. The thing that, the main draw to her shield is that, unlike Reinhardt, she can shield and shoot at the same time. Yeah. So she can apply yeah. pressure. So unlike Reinhardt, can only apply like some pressure, and this is very little pressure. Every six seconds, she can apply pressure pretty much all the time with with the barrier in front of her. That's what makes her pretty good. A lot of people don't really like talk about that aspect of the fact that she can shoot while she has a barrier deployed, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, Winston can shoot while his barrier is deployed. Yeah, but he doesn't do this. He doesn't have the range one. Mm. He doesn't have like the da the damage output. Like she still has better output than. Um, Winston, and that's that's the two things that she has her barrier. Also, her barrier goes up, stays up for fifteen seconds, has one hundred more health, and is uh that's about it. Winston's is better in the fact that it's a bubble, so it's harder to like maneuver around. Yeah, yeah. I thought the barrier stayed up forever. That's what it was shocking. With Winston, no, no, it goes away after like I think. No, uh, oh, I was no about the Arissa like, barrier does Arisa go down after. It goes away after fifteen seconds, but at that point, it's either gonna get destroyed or you're gonna plop down another one, so it doesn't matter mm. really. Um, yeah, and I believe the cooldown for it's twelve seconds. Yeah, you so you'll never you'll never have a period if they're not destroying the barrier. Yeah, to come off cooldown unless it's destroyed. And the thing I like to do is <clears throat> when it hits about half health, I like to just shoot the barrier straight up into the air so it resets the cooldown. And uh, usually, if you time it right with how much damage it's taking, the next one will just land at just the right time, and you'll be able to pop out more barriers faster. That that seems like a good idea on paper, but, like, sometimes maybe you don't want to do that because you want to make sure you have, like, the right position. Like, maybe you have to move back, and now, oh, look, I just wasted my barrier. So, uh, it's better to do that in situations where you know you, you're not going to be, um, or you're going to, like, hold a on position. On defense, longer. for example. Yeah, I guess you could do it on defense, on offense. You're going to probably fire. need to move that sure. barrier a lot more. So, yeah. <laughs> the only issue I have with the barrier is that it's kind of weak. In the fact that in an actual game, this thing's probably gonna get shredded over and over again. So realistically, she's not gonna have like a barrier up all the time like Reinhardt will. Reinhardt can have his barrier up at least I'd say 90% of the time, despite like it getting destroyed and be going on cooldown. He can have a whole game. Yeah, I mean, but well the difference between her and Reinhardt, which is gonna come up eventually, is the fact that Reinhardt can pull up his shield at any health he wants. Yeah. So if he needs to stop a little bit of damage, he can pull that shield up. She's yeah. going to have to wait for it to go off cooldown, which is going to be it's hindering true. to her, as yeah. opposed to, if they want her to be an anchor tank. That's why Reinhardt is able 
to be Reinhardt because he can determine when the shield is up and when the shield needs to cool yeah. off. Yeah, so. that's, that's another thing. Also, Reinhardt has complete and utter control over, over his um, shield while she does not. Well, that also comes to the fact of she can shoot and he can't. I'm going to give her like a prediction now. I'm going to say that solidly she's going to get a buff and her barriers is going to go up to 1,000 HP at least, I would say, maybe. It's hard to tell at this point, but if she were to get any buff, I think that'd be a, a, a decent one because her barrier, I feel like on paper it sounds good, but like in execution it seems like it's not going to be like very useful. It's going to be no. It's going to be useful for one thing. It's going to be useful for making Reinhardt even more polarizing, as it's going to allow Reinhardt to block even more stuff because it'll take strain off his shield, which is not really helping. It's just kind of making Reinhardt worse to deal with. So as I was saying about Arissa and her barrier, I think it's really. Did we talk about fortify? No, we didn't. No, we, that was next. But I wanted to finish my thing about her barrier and how it has um. It, it just makes Reinhardt. A, more of a pain to deal with because it's like oh Reinhardt's shield is almost about to go down I'll just plot this Arissa barrier let him sit for two seconds and now he's got his, his uh, barrier back up and rinse and repeat and you can just make this really annoying defense then again this could be Junkrat's time to shine yeah we'll talk Maybe. about Junkrat when we get over his buff I would like uh, to see him with the projectiles whatever I'll talk about it later but uh, uh, so let's talk move about on to fortifying not her halt her fortify ability. Fortify. Fortify, which makes her 50% resistant. And she can't get CC. That's it. It's yeah. pretty simple. Yeah. I think so, the ability's good, uh, but maybe give her more health and tone it down a bit, halt. Like uh, I don't see it being resistance. that bad because you can't really like kill people on her own. She's just gonna at that point, you're just gonna have to ignore the Arissa for five seconds. Because she's still gonna be a slow stationary target if she tries killing you so you can just be like oh well i'll just move out of the way and try shooting someone else yeah, yeah her it's, not the, it's not the worst thing to deal with yeah but i can see it being a little bit annoying well it's not as much as a trap card like she just can't run in with fortify and just kill people like if you focus no. down an orissa with fortify you will kill her i mean she can try using it as a pushing tool like she can go in with fortify to try to bait out an alt like right. she doesn't like go in with fortify but she can go in first like and then someone can maybe ult her, or maybe they'll use, like, an ability, like... If she can't be... Can she be Graviton to all fortify? No. no. No, she can't. She okay. can just walk right out. So that's another thing you can do. Um, my thing about it is, like, I honestly think... We'll get to this when we talk about her ult, but I think her ult should have been something similar to Fortify rather than what it is right now. Right. Because Fortify right now... It's only really good with, for helping Arissa. It doesn't really help her team much. It's just a way for her to be like, oh, I'm about to be flanked. Be well, no, it does help the team in the fact that it'll attract more aggro. She becomes a giant, golden, shiny. Everybody's yeah. going to want to shoot the shiny. Well, I feel like they should have given her a second ult, like what they did with Symmetra, and let her have the choice of either putting down something for damage boosting or putting down something for uh, knockback resistance. Mm, I would say just knockback resistance. resistance would be kind of useless. I think for the most part. I well, I mean, it would make Ryan's. You mean CC resistance? Like it just has the CC thing? Yeah, like yeah. a fortify. Right. Um. What if it just gave like fortify to everybody? Well, yeah, I think yeah, like it fortify, good. but the fifty percent damage resistance. I was thinking instead of like the way her ult was now, I was thinking like her her supercharger instead could like instead of you putting the supercharger down, it stays on her back, and when she crosses Q. Like it, it's in her based on her line of sight instead, and everyone gets a small fortify where it's like not 50% resistance, but it's like, like 30 or 20, 20 or 30 like 25 resistance. plus immunity to CC. The immunity to CC is the big part, yeah, so you push right. in with that because they can't use CC ults now. Yeah, and they, they can't be like, Oh, I'm gonna earth shatter you, oh, I'm gonna graviton you. They gotta wait for that to go out, which I would say like 10, 10 to like seven seconds would be yeah. the best for that, and then. That, that's like a much more unique and much more interesting ult than I put down a mercy, uh, I put down a mercy damage beam for 15. Yeah. Try it. It's just, not, it doesn't fit her character of her being kind of like this police officer protector character. It's just yeah, kind of like, true. yeah, it's just, I felt like that would work better. Because the ult right now she has is pretty awful, not gonna I mean, lie. It's so easy really. for like a trace. It, it's a, it's good on paper, but when you think about it, it's like this little. Has 200 HP and doesn't move. Yeah. It has to it be dies in a half a second. 
Like, I'm just trying to think of places to put it and how you would use it in a team fight. It just seems like it always get destroyed. You have to put fast. it like in a corner where the enemy can't, like, like a choke point where the enemy can't see it around the corner, but your team can. Like, it, it always seems good really... for defending. It doesn't seem good for pushing, like, what it's intended for. No. I, mean, you have a I can see it being good for pushing, like, if you really want to get that barrier down. You yeah. just pl pl plop it down, and then you just bamboozle the barrier. Yeah, It just doesn't no, seem like it has a lot of applicable use. It just kind of seems like a throwaway ult you use, like, at the beginning of, like, a team fight to give yourself an edge. But if, like, they have, like, a tracer or, like, a Genji... They just shoot, like, one burst at it, and it's gone. Yeah. Also, it's, just, like, too, it's kind of easy to just get rid of. And what are you saying, Fire? Oh, I was saying, but if you're attacking, you could just put down the Orisa ult, then Winston could put down a barrier, but I don't know how you Yeah, that but the problem be. on attack is now that you have, to, if you want to move in some position, you're now going to lose line of sight and you're going to completely lose the benefit of it. That's the issue, it's on offense. You really only want to use it like on two CP when you're about like when you push the second point and you know they're gonna bring out the stalls now. So what you do is you put down the thing because they're not gonna be focusing on it at that point. They're gonna be trying to like contest. So that's when that's really useful. But that's really situational and only useful in one scenario. I guess it'd be useful on King of the Hill. That's where I see it best. It's best usage is because you have to put it on a point. You really don't have to push into the point. You can the point and use it to try to push in. But, like, on attack defending maps or payload maps, it just doesn't seem useful at all. Yeah, I do think they should give her either just redo her ult or give her a second option. I think redoing it would be better. But we, we can't really tell right now. I know it's early, but that's what I would have preferred for Supercharger to be. I know we went from Fortify to Supercharger, but I think Fortify is fine to talk. Like, it's, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly harmless. Not really gonna... It's a game-changing ability, but it's not, like... Something that you can really say is like, oh, uh, I think you could do this, you could do that. You just kind of use it based on the situation. You can't really, like, determine a specific use, situation you support a five. And what do you think of, like, the um, the character design and everything? I like the character design. Yeah, I think character design. yeah, I like the skins in the character. We kind of talked about uh, Fortify and her supercharger at once there. That's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I just, I just think Supercharger has like a really like kind of pointless use. Yeah, it's. Really... I mean, you could buff it in a simple way. Where it's like, oh, instead of her putting it down, instead she just carries the thing, and uh, now you get a fifty percent damage buff based on your line of sight with Arissa. But I can see that being really stupid because now you have a mo now it's mobile. Well, now I was gonna say a, now it has what you said. System. What if they could be like shot on her back or something? Like the hey, what if they didn't do this ult to begin with and actually chose something a little bit more clever? More tanky? Yeah. Yeah, like, they should... I mean, that's more DPS. I mean, all the tanks don't even really have, like, tanking ults. Yeah. You think about it, Reinhardt has a setup ult. Uh, there's only one character who has a tanking ult, and that is, uh, Winston. Because it literally makes him yeah. tank. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But it doesn't help anybody else tank. Like, it would be nice to have a tank whose ultimate tank actually, for yeah. everybody. Yeah, but I, is it's like not just a, not just attracts aggro more. The like, supercharger ultimate, if we're, they were to change it to like this damage resistance thing that I just, um, suggested, the radius wouldn't be line of sight based. Instead, I think it'd be meter based, like ten meters. You have to stay really. You have to be kissing Arissa to get that resistance. Yeah, but I think it'd be worth it because then you'd be immune to CC and, and whatnot. Right. But it wouldn't be like oppressive because it wouldn't be like, oh look, this person's all the way over here and they just got immune to everything because this Arissa ulted all the way over here. One thing that would I mean, be also but... very useful for is if the other team has a Zarya, the Arista would just wait to use her ult until Zarya gravitons, and then they could just all get out of it. Yeah. yeah. Which would make Zarya Sombra com uh, combos much more effective because it would negate Arista popping her ult and maybe also a Zen. The only issue I see with this is that it's really similar to Zenyatta, where Zenyatta just outright makes you all pretty much invincible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Zenyatta doesn't uh, negate CC. You can still get hammered and... Uh, yeah, I know, that's on. the thing. That's and also you can still get easily killed off about it. it. Yeah, it doesn't give you resistances and, and, mm -hmm. other, and other CCs. So, but, like, if you can't be CC'd, what ha does, can she be charged by a Reinhardt? No, she can't. Nope. If she, she just slams... Reinhardt charges into her, it's as, it's as if it's, it is as if two Reinhardts collided. Or okay, they're... so... If she gave that, like, anti-CC kind of thing, Reinhardt charging into them, he'd just, like... Just as the funny joke, he'd like, like an idiot. He would hit like a, a like a Zenyatta, floating Zenyatta, fall over. 
Yep. Yeah, and zero That'd be really damage. That's That'd be fun. I would love to see that. Yeah. Just him then hitting. Just get destroyed. Uh, yeah. I mean, supercharger isn't bad. It just feels like it feels like one of the things in her kit that just doesn't really make sense. And I think a lot of people agree that it just doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, yeah. it's it, and like you said earlier, it doesn't even fit her character where she's but supposed to be. It the is type. indeed a fifty percent more damage, which was yeah. deemed OP on Zenyatta, <laughs> and that was just on one target. So just imagine everybody doing that to everybody. Everybody doing that much damage to everybody else. It, it could be extremely niche, but extremely good. One yeah. shotting Widow's back. Yeah, I think, uh, I and think McCree. And oh, I forgot to say, she's also really weak to Widowmaker. Yeah. Yeah, because she has a huge... Good. Especially, like, her profile. When you yeah. think about how fat she her, is... Her head hitbox her profile, her profile, it just... Because she's a quadruped, it just makes her... Matter. The quadruped thing makes her... Uh, it's cool for design, but it does just make her a bigger target to hit and only 400 HP to work with. I know there's armor there, but... It's not as tanky as Also, she moves list. slow because she's pretty much going to be shooting all the time. Yeah. I think one or two things you could do is change it where she has either 600 HP or she just ha doesn't have the movement penalty. Because I feel like the movement penalty feels kind of unnecessary. True. 600 HP, no es armor. Especially since she's a quadruped, you'd expect her to move faster. Yeah. Yeah. Like a dog running, and she's, sort of. And she's a ram, she, so... Yeah, like, it shouldn't slow her down because she has, the, like, the four legs to, like, push up against the, uh, the recoil. Mm-hmm. Then again, um, four legs means more friction. Mm. No. Alright, so do you want to talk about the bus to the other characters? One second. Yeah, sure. One second. Hold off. Uh, Grin, you good? My dad is stupid. Did you tell him you're recording? No, I just told him to fuck off. You should have. Like, you should have told me you're recording. He probably wouldn't have bothered you. So, we good now? Can we continue? Yeah. All right. So, cut it from this. Mm, yeah, oh, do you guys yeah, want to talk about the characters that got buffed now? Yeah. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with Junkrat since that's the one we were brought up before. Well, Junkrat, Still... the old, uh, not the. Well, it does affect his ult and the fact that he can jump in and not die from his tire. But I, what I was going to say is, one thing that I liked doing before when fighting against drunk rats as a Ryan main was just, like, getting up in their face. And since I have the health to sustain his shots, he would just kill himself on me. He can't do that anymore. So it's a really effective ult, so he can just run up to people and shoot them point blank and not take any damage. And it would almost kind of make him harder to hit because, I mean... It makes, it makes approaching him more, I guess... Dangerous. It makes it less risky for, for uh, what is it, Junkrat to engage people, like, b point blank. Because right. before, he would have to say it, like, uh, uh, like close, but not close, because his projectile is so slow. So he now, wants to say close, but not close enough where he, he uh, gets hit by his own he, grenades. Kind of like what uh, Reaper you could do, when he walks right into a Reinhardt shield and just starts point blanking the Reinhardt, because he's inside the shield. Junkrat can do that now. And yeah. 120 damage a shot is going to hurt the Reinhardt. Will hurt anybody. Buff, this is a good buff for him. It's more of a quality of life thing because getting killed by your own grenades is kind of annoying, especially when they have like several characters who don't get hurt. Yeah. And he had no he had really no way to deal with people in his face without damaging himself. Or ha if he didn't have mine, there was no yeah. way he could deal with it. Yeah, all he could have done was just use his mine and hopefully fly away. I think it's a fine buff, but I think we can also talk about how Junkrat is overall and how you think he might turn out in this new meta. With like mm -hmm. wh whoever they're gonna is gonna be in this new meta. Yeah, as long as I long think we'll as talk about the new meta at the end. That we now might... what I'm wondering is since Junkrat can't damage himself, if Genji reflects the bombs, can he still hurt himself? Yeah, that that's different. That changes. Well, the could the Genji hurt himself with the? Ref that's yeah. a good question. I guess. Because the, it's a passive ability. It's not that the mm -hmm. grenades have a new effect where they don't damage the user. It's that. Junkrat cannot be harmed by his own grenades. That he fired from his gun. When Genji deflects, they become Genji grenades. So technically that no, that passive applies, so he'll take damage. But if the Genji's point blank and deflects the bomb back into Junkrat, he will probably take splash damage. Mm. He won't be immune to it just because I think that's is. a very niche thing. Like you have like uh, that's like a vacuum thing yeah. that almost will never really matter. Yeah. yeah. But just uh, 
addressing that. I'm going to love the new Winston, though. Not to play, just to be with, because bubbles everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, new Winston is, um, he's good. He's good. He's definitely going to be able to do his thing more. Doesn't really buff him. It just makes him, I guess, uh, less clunky. Less, cl- yeah, less clunky. He's still the same Winston. He's not going to be polarizing. He's just going to be able to do his thing more often. Now, this isn't going to fix any issues because people are still going to complain that they're du- they're jumping into six people and dying and he doesn't do enough damage. But I think it's the only well, buff he really needed. They'll be able to see what Winston can do with Supercharger, though. You want your 90 DPS? It can be. You want your 90 DPS? You want 90 DPS? We'll see. Winston with 90 DPS. Uh, and no aiming. Uh, but the thing is, he has to be in line of sight of it. And he, and has, he like, can hit three people. He usually doesn't at once. stay with a team that often, unless it's a t- mid-team fight. He usually is the one who goes in first. Stays like he still stays in the team sight line, I guess. But he might be out of the radius of the thing, because the thing's like, I think, like a 50 meter radius. Effectively, though, with his being able to hit three people, if comboed with a supercharger, Winston can do, if he's hitting three people, 270 damage a second. That's ri- that's ridiculous. 200, and they want him to do more. People want him to do more. He this can do also two, what, what's the he's hitting three people. But this is actually years. plausible. Like, if, you, if you're on, like, a 2CP map, and you have running Orisa, um... Winston. Orisa Winston on offense. Uh, this is a very Winston plausible bubbles, situation but... where you're hitting multiple people at once with a yeah. supercharged Winston. Or or if they're contesting like a payload on uh, on uh, overtime and they're pushing the payload, you put a supercharger down somewhere and Winston just jumps on the payload, that's 270 DPS alone from him. He's killing a character and a half every second, essentially. A swishy and a half yeah. every second. Which is going to be beautiful. So another thing about Winston I, I wanted to bring up, because I, I'm like... Oh, like a Winston player, is that I'm always usually opposed to Winston buffs because I feel like he doesn't need buffs, like, ever. Because he's really solid and that people just don't know how to play him. But there is one thing I was thinking about on, like, a change that wouldn't really change how he is but would definitely make it his uh, his ultimate more, I guess, usable, is make it uh, where it's immune to CC. Like, now that we have Arisa who has stuff that's immune to CC, I think we could give it, try giving it to another character. Like where yeah, Winston fun. Ways in Primal Rage cannot cannot be CC'd. He's a, I mean, he is he a giant angry. Ape. Ape. How come he can be put, he can be put down? He can literally be put down By while he is. Dart. Yeah, a little sleep dart that puts Zenyatta out for five seconds takes down the massive gorilla for the same time. It'll also be another counter counter to hammer down. So yeah. yeah. It just gives. I mean, it would still knock down. Rage's only use, and I swear it is its only use, is just to make yourself more tanky. You don't, you don't, or if you want to like kill five people with an environmental kill, that almost never happens. It's only used to like give yourself more sustain. So I think giving it a little bit more use, because it's already very, I guess, only useful for Winston. So giving it some uh, more benefits would be better. I think. Yeah, makes sense. Um. So. What what other character got buffed? Oh, yes, buffed. Zenyatta Zenyatta buffed. Zenyatta Zenyatta got buffed. gotten reverted. Yeah, but he still has the no spread, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he has that no spread. Yeah, so the no but spread. They, they undid the other stuff, so. Yay! Yay! Anna is gonna not be a 98% pick break. Maybe. No. no. Her, her damage is the only thing that's nerfed now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, they didn't change the, I thought they changed, changed the grenade. They switched it back. Oh my god. No. Well, I, I actually feel like they're the people on so PS4. You say, you it's because of the people on PS4 upward. What do the people on PS4 do? Ana isn't actually like good on consoles, if you don't know. She's actually like pretty bad because no one can hit shots on consoles. That's well, that's why you well then balance her different on console. Torbjorn and Symmetra got neutered on the console, but not on PC. Wait, neutered? <laughs> now you talk, Kappa. Uh, Oh, sorry. We're talking I about junk rat like business. five minutes ago. You're a little late to the party. <laughs> no, I was. I had something important to do. Oh yeah, you were just waiting for for that. <laughs> you were up. waiting for a word. So so anyway, back to uh Anna. I think is this where we're talking about Anna? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, she's she's retarded. She she has a kit that is just well designed, but it but just okay. completely well. negates the use for like. Any other healer, or I, like I almost, any other healer at like once. I would like to see the grenade. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not the burst one hundred healing. I don't know about that okay. right now. But the, the, for the, damage, the I think sixty damage is kind of is, is 
is not like an issue. That was an issue before, but now it's not an issue. Now the anti heal's an issue because that thing is just. I was gonna say, yeah, that maybe that could just be a resistant to heal. Like you can't get healed as much. Yeah, yeah. that's what people suggest. Kind of like what you can do in custom they games where like you can change. On, you can't get any healing whatsoever, which is. I, and I almost feel like Zenyatta ult should just go right through it and overpower it completely. Zenyatta? Yeah, that that. that I almost mean. feel like Zenyatta should also make it where people can't get discorded. I'm not- I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. But, like, what if his ultimate also made it where people can't get discorded and also they can't get, like, debuffs in that kind of sense, where be a... maybe they can't get completely frozen? Uh, so if Zenyatta ults in a May ult, well, uh, they can like get slowed. They can get slowed, but they won't ever get completely frozen. I mean, but if you're slowed, you're basically still frozen. No, no, you mean they wouldn't get slowed, but they would get completely frozen. No, I mean, like, they wouldn't get frozen, but they would get, like, the they would get as slow as they uh, as the uh, I guess I don't know I think I mean but that's basically I mean Zenyatta's pretty good as it is I was just thinking out loud there just a I thing think, I think you just need to change grenade it's just like it's really unfun to get anti healed and you can't do anything about it yeah. there's just nothing you can do oh Zarya bubble I mean that's that means you have to have a Zarya Zarya bubble, bubble or use it in invincibility going to give you a bubble in that situation yeah. yeah. Which you only can give a bubble to one person if everyone's in that. Yeah, and it's, like, it's like not a skill shot either. It's just like a grenade. You just throw it. It's AOE. It can hit multiple people. It does burst damage too, which I think I think it's burst damage being nerfed was fine, but they undid that change too. I think that the burst damage should just be like 30. Seriously. That's what they changed it to, but now it's back to like the 60. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Ana does like so many things. She really doesn't even, like, have a counter, because she just can- there's always a way for her to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless she's dumb and Genji just walks up and deflects a sleep dart. Well, like, that- needs to be Which is- that. Yeah, but- Which that, means that their one has to be a Genji on your- No so good Ana, has no to... good Genji is going to, like- Two, she has to hit the sleep dart on the Genji deflecting, then the Genji has to- The shot back into her. Which is not going to be a consistent thing, which is... But it can happen. Yeah. The matchup is bad because... To heal herself. Because Ana yeah. has to, like, the, the reason why Genji doesn't do as well versus uh, Ana is because Ana has, like, Genji has to, like, read a reflect. Meanwhile, Ana doesn't have to do anything. She just has to wait for him to reflect, and then she needs to just sleep dart him afterwards. Because he can't do anything. He can dash away, but that means he's dashing away. So he's not going to be able to do anything anymore. He's a coward. Also, just saying, sleep dart isn't hard to hit for anybody. It's not very, very hard to hit. It's more of a, it's it's hard to hit on like three people. It's just the hitboxes are so big. It's pretty. But it makes it makes Winston like it was stupid <laughs> harder to play because he'd be like, I can't leap on this Ana who I'm supposed to counter because I'm supposed to counter people in the back line who do healing, but I can't do that to Ana because she'll just put me to sleep and then have my Reinhardt kill me. Yeah. Yep. That's uh. That's Ana. Yeah, they, they do stupid. Like Oh, and 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 one other thing with Junkrat, I think we finished talking, but I'm gonna go back, bring him back up. I feel one other thing with Junkrat that would be nice is if they reduced the second and third bounce damage on his grenades because yeah. I can get somebody like predicting where somebody's gonna be around a corner and they bounce a grenade and hit somebody, so that can be like a skill shot. So after, like, the first bounce, it still has, you know, the 120 damage. Yeah. But after that, it should go down to 80. And I also feel like, to balance that out, he should have an increased firing, uh, he should have a projectile speed increase. Like, right, maybe 20%. The problem with Junkrat is he's too- So he can skill shot people. He's promoted more. to literally just spam. Yeah. yeah. He's promoted to be literally the most tunnel vision character in the game. Which like, is like I'm, not good because newer players are attracted to him because he's so easy the to like get kills and get free things with. But then he's like the 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 new player will keep like uh, snowballing into this tunnel vision and they'll never be able to get out of it because mm -hmm. they won't learn from their like. like mistake. Wait, yeah, we said we said Junkrat. Um, like I've played Junkrat with the twenty percent um, projectile speed increase, which we did um, on using Junkrat. custom games, yeah. and it's nice because you can actually direct hit people, you can hit people. Who are a little bit further away, and it's not too crazy. You might I mean, need to nerf his damage a little bit. Like maybe instead he does one hundred damage. No, no, I think I think his damage is fine. I just think after the first bounce, it just becomes luck or not. And yeah, it's based on luck. Yeah, even if you, even, even if you're, I feel like even second bounce, I think should do less damage because then you're making it still spammy, kind of. 
I'm saying first bounce can be fine because you can bounce it off no, ceilings, no, walls, whatever. First, no, that's what I meant. After first bounce, I still feel like that's that's too much. No, because you're doing that's... 120 damage for bouncing it up into people by accident most of the time. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say and it's still doing it's still doing maybe it, it loses damage on every bounce instead. No. Yeah. Well. You could change it where the second first bounce it goes to 100 damage. It's still two shots, people. Yeah, there we go. That's that's what I was thinking. So it's like not, like it's... I feel like after the second bounce, just 80. Like it's just becoming absurd at that point, whether you hit somebody or not. I mean, it is their fault for walking into it since it's slow. Yeah, but, the, but it's just like a lot of Junkrat's problems is just he's designed to be this most obnoxious spamming character that it's not fun to play against, really. And it's like there's no room for improvement. You just have to keep spamming because that's what they, they, also, the game wants it, you to what do. Would, would it hurt him to have like uh, a tire speed increase on his tire? I think tire is just awful. Awful ultimate. Like Yeah, like well, what I'm saying is what if it moved faster? Right, because it's literally just a tire. It should move faster. I think one for one, it's wall ride and just not wall ride. It's wall clink. clink. And every wall clink in general is just clank and, and like janky. And it's so hard to like get consistent with it. Because sometimes you'll try to go up to, like, say King's Row, you're trying to go up the wall and around. Like, yeah. you know what I'm talking about, like, in your first point, how they have that little balcony with a little open yeah. window. Yeah. You're trying to send it through it. Sometimes it'll just, like, stop completely, drop back down, and you can't climb the wall again. It's just it's just obnoxious. It happens to me. I mean, also, you can hear it from, like, 10 miles away. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's not really an issue. It's that it's it has 100 HP, it, it's slow as dirt, and it has, like, this really awkward like mo movement that just doesn't really yeah. make any sense if you want it to be a throwaway ult make it build faster yeah or something like that i think if it you want one of those ults where it's just going to make people look away for a second if it's not going to like where it can get kills but it's just going to be a throwaway thing yeah i can see it being good for like but it just has like no use on like pushing. You can't be like, I'm throwing in this tire. Let's push, guys, because it'll just get destroyed in two seconds. Yeah, it's definitely not. Here's the box it needs. It needs to be able to put Zarya barriers on it. I need to bubble that tire. <laughs> <laughs> that that would actually help so much. That'd be pretty funny too. I mean, but it's still gonna get destroyed and focus. I wonder, can you put a Winston <laughs> bubble on a tire? Fire. It will at least have three hundred health. I mean the Winston if what do you mean like an enemy oh, no, like, no, you, uh, you, uh, you can uh, bubble it off and if it explodes it'll no, contain the explosion I mean, no, no, no. like a friendly winston like put, like, putting it on a tire no I yeah but it won't follow it i think if an enemy winston puts it on it can work like a I reaper think. teleporting on the rip tire right yeah like with winston i'm pretty sure you could put barriers on the basketballs yeah, oh no, no you can't put it on no, the tire. Not. It'll go through the tire. Because it's off. your teammates. The tire acts like a teammate where you'll walk through it. Yeah. Um, although it used to act in a way where you could put Zarya bubbles on. I don't think Winston can attach things. It, it attaches to the ground and it gravitates to the ground, not like the Almost object. like, thinking about it, it almost should be used in a way where when a team pushes in, that the tire moves in with the team like behind a Reinhardt barrier. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous and almost useless at that point. At that point, why not just be Junkrat there spamming at them? Right. Doing probably more because, damage. Because, I don't know, you can make them, like, lose their focus. I guess. Yeah, there's a funky the very... sight. Them pushing in with a Reinhardt shield, and this is just a tire going back and forth, moving up with a Reinhardt. That's kind of funky. That would throw me <laughs> well, off. Oh, they're being speed boost. They're being, like, speed boosted in. Yeah. yeah. With, uh, a tire isn't affected by speed boost. That might be a buff it could, it could get. Or it gets affected by speed boost. Or maybe it's just faster in general. <laughs> you can nano it. <laughs> oh, as Junkrat main, I would love that to happen. Uh, but then they'll go, to tire, get in there. they'll go to nano the Genji, and it'll go on, and the tire will break instantly. Would Junkrat yell that the tire got boosted, or what? Oh, oh I, I lost connection for a second. Yell. What did I miss? No, the tire would make rubber sounds. <laughs> so we talked about Junkrat, so let's talk about the Sombra change. Sombra, why? Oh, Even Sombra was good before, but now she's Sombra, better. This is how I feel about Sombra. They made Sombra, and she was good. And I thought she was pretty good. And then everybody's like, buff her, she's bad. And I'm like, thinking, it no, she's in. pretty good. I mean, you have to know what to do when playing her. She has a high skill ceiling. So they buffed her, and it was just like a couple of things, like faster hack speed and this and that. And then they're buffing her again. And I just feel like if they keep buffing her, she's going to be... On a V2. Annoying. 
really annoying. I think I think the buffs they did right now are harmless. They just made Trans yeah. Locator on a yeah, slow they keep, I mean, I mean, keep no. going with the somber buffs. You're going down dangerous path with uh, continuously buffing her. In well, my opinion. She, I don't think she, the the invisibility buff. I think was just. I think that's needed and also needed on Reaper. Reaper is supposed oh, yeah, to be a silent wild. killer, but you can hear. Death come. But, Reaper, but she's always had a really good, super good alt that people just kind of neglected. Yeah. yeah. No one just knows that he's yeah, in our team fight. I mean, it's, not that, it's, like, it's like a really good initiating ult. A lot of people like to like combo with other ults, but you can probably now get away with, now that Translocator is buffed and on a, um, a smaller cooldown, you could probably just throw Translocator in the middle of people, Translocate in, then EMP immediately. Or invisibility in the EMP. Realistically, you shouldn't even need any other ults with EMP. You should just be able to go in and kill them all now, because what can they do, really? No, you can do other ults. Like, you can get, like, not maybe not Earth Shatter, but, like, Barrage. Genji ult? What? Like, just like, like Genji ult, even? Genji yeah. ult would be very stuff difficult. Stuff that allows them not to be defensive. Yeah. Stuff that, that only, like, you know, being defensive would allow them to avoid. Like, characters like Hanzo and McCree are, are not really going to be affected by EMP, but characters like, um, like Tracer, they get heavily, like, just n nerfed by EMP. Yeah, Tracer uh, Mercy. Killing them, like, stupid easy. Especially yeah, Tracer. That, yeah. And Sombra's a really good counter for Mercy, too, because can't ult, can't fly. Oh, yeah, that's-, that's Yeah, but here's the thing, she's going to be hiding, so it doesn't even matter at that point. I mean, that's why you normally... Yeah, but but Sombra is one of the best people, person to find people. Like, she can probably easily get in the back and find Mercy to begin with. Hack and just her and then... hack or kill her outright. Yeah, but way. remember, if you're playing 2CP and you kill her too early, and then you kill the whole team too, uh, too slow, she, she comes fast. back and reses them, and it doesn't matter that you kill her. I wanted to I... talk a little bit about Mercy, but I, we can say that for another time. Yeah. All right. All right, so you want to talk about the channel stuff now before we wrap it up? Yeah, sure. We're, we're working on channel videos. What kind of videos do you want to see? Post a comment in our comment zone. If you're comment. here, comment and zone. Soon we'll have a link to our Discord, and you can That's join our Discord and become a porchling today. <laughs> Please, <laughs> put, Daddy, gonna here's another thing. Porch. Please put comments on everything. On what you hate, especially what you hate, yeah. and what you like. I want to know like what you hate food. so we can make it better. So if you hate, like, if you hate Riddell, tell us and <laughs> we'll kick him. Yeah. If you hate Capo, you can kick me. If you hate Capo because he hasn't said a word this entire video, we'll kick him. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, don't yeah. worry, I swear. If you hate Firewall, we can't fix that. He's just going to be like that all his life. Yeah. I'm just going to be here. <laughs> He's never yeah. Learned. So I think that's well, I about it for been. this... Pod first podcast. Woo, episode one. Episode one. Anybody want to give anybody want to give closing statements or? Uh, this channel is not going to get good. Healthy, stay you tuned. Know? Stay tuned. Porchy things are on the way. Even more porchy things. We've been saying that for days. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Porchy things. All right. So. Uh... And now let's end the video with the anthem. Okay, everybody. On the count of three. We all ready. Uh, wait, I don't know, uh... It's pinned announcements. Oh, it is? Yes. Okay. Alright, hold on, I gotta get the pin up real quick, then we'll, then we'll get it Wait, going. are we gonna sing by verse? So it goes, like, Grin, Capo, me... No, we're no, all gonna sing it, it simultaneously. Together. Do it all together. All together? The Pompous Four Chantum. Ready? Get get there first. One... Alright, go, go. One, two, three. Bless, Bless your soul. soul. Touch, Touch my, my hole. Part, part of the crew, crew part, part of the ship. 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 Bless your sentry, entry. touch my entry. entry. Part, part of, of the crew, crew. Part, part of the ship. ship. Mess, Mess with, with Riddell. Riddell. Prepare for, for hell. hell. Part, part of the crew, part of the ship. ship. Mess with Capo. Get the slap Part of the crew, part of the ship. Mess with fire. Get hung by a wire. Part of the crew, part of the ship. Mess with Char, Char. get hit by a car. Part, part of the crew, part, part of the ship. Mess, mess, mess with Riddell, prepare for the spin. Part, part of the crew, part of the ship. 
mess with mess with Fonzie. Get in the boat. Who wrote this? Part of the crew. Part of the ship. Mess with young Mizzle. Prepare for the sizzle. Part of the crew. Part of the ship. Don't mess with Meister. He's a feister. Feister. Part of the crew. Part of the ship. And we're Don't done. mess with Symmetra or prepare for Shut election. Shut up, she has OCD. Part of the crew, part of the ship. All right, Wait, hope fire. you all enjoyed Say this podcast. See you all next time.